Legend of Total War here with part 4 of my Total War Rome 2 Empire Divided Let's Play campaign as Aurelian Rome. Alright, so previously uh, we've all but destroyed the Gallic Empire. In addition to that, we've conquered the uh, the northern barbarians, which is something Rome never did. Which I think is important. I mean, it's one thing to follow Aurelius' steps, which was, you know, um, take Rome, take out Palmyra, or Palmyra, however you want to pronounce it, and then take out the Gallic stuff. However, I I knew that the uh, the barbarians were never going to let up, and they're certainly not that difficult to pacify, and so that's what we focused on right now. Those guys were, even though Palmyra is pretty much gone, um, it just wasn't a priority to start more big wars, especially while we've got... Th these guys here, we're not just going to sit there and wait around while we went in, over there. Anyway, what are we doing next? Okay, so we now have... Is it just me, or did they update this? This looks different than it was last time. Well, then again, I think it's... There was a patch, and... Uh, I th actually, I think it's out now. Yeah, today's 1st of December. Although, 1st of December for me is like... 30th of November for you guys, so it's probably out now. So, they've... They've probably patched it all. Which I guess that's good. So one of the things that we're working towards, and I know that some people are probably going to find, have found the previous episodes boring, but I, I just can't help but not want to fight battles with trash units. Um, is that we're trying to work towards a doom stack. You know, we're almost there. We can get the best units, but in order to get the best units now, we now need to be able to afford it. So I need these wars to be over. Gathering supplies. That's the next pro problem. We need to be able to manage our frontier if you want to, Stop you know, it. have expensive armies. And we have... Okay, essentially two enemies. Although these guys up here, they're bound to be enemies as well. Now, I believe I'm... No, I'm not trading with the Franky, or whatever, the French. Franks, whatever. Who should we hit next? Well, these guys need a little bit of time to rest. I wonder if anything else was adjusted in the patch. I don't know, I guess we'll, we'll play it by ear. Actually, that might have been more helpful. Doesn't matter. Alright, so we just finished a tech. I can't remember what I was researching. It's probably something military. Well, it will, it'll tell us here. I uh, know it won't. What was the last thing I researched? Maybe this is what I was trying to go for, so that I can build a grand temple of Sol Invictus in Rome. And it'll reduce the construction cost of Sol Invictus as well. Because this is what's needed. If we want the true Doom Stack, we need this as well. We're very close to getting it. Maybe best we focus on that first. Alright. Of course, we're going to need food in order to pay for that. It doesn't provide an economic benefit. That's okay, we're getting there. Oh, in terms of food, we've got this now. That'll, that'll pay for some of the food. Food costs, I mean. Alright. Okay, since he can get to Gagovia next turn anyway, let's go to Berdigala. So I'm expecting now, since we've defeated quite a few of their armies, that we're basically just going to roll right over these guys and conquer the entirety of the Iberian Peninsula without any real challenge, which is exactly what I want. Yeah, without without the north getting in our way, preferably. Now, how are we going with politics? Everything is nice and cushy. It's all under control. How are we going with this? Civil War 1, still still got that bonus. So we still need more traditionalist bonuses. If you want to really sort this out. Also, no influence for you. Not allowed. Alright, cool. Ah, uh, they've still got a guy up here. It's not a big deal. Alright. I am Rome's champion. Let's 
Good, the better you get. Well, obviously, the better you get. That's its own reward. Jeez, this army here must be getting pretty damn cheap. Campaign movement range is crucial. It's also good that we've got these guys leveling up. That will certainly help for um, justifying the, the additional cost of uh, the doom stacks, which are being prepared right now. Okay, so whoever moved. These ones here don't move. You haven't moved. That's right. Look, I just need to keep an eye on these guys. I'm going to have to send another army over there to defeat them. One is not going to be enough. Oh, well, I mean those two. Whatever. Okay, have I got any more money for construction? Doesn't look like it. Moving on. Oh, okay. We've got another edict we can issue. So. Apparently this is our richest territory. So I just think extra tax harvesting is probably the way to go. We stand ready to give these people fire and Fine. salt. It's like 100, I don't care. Oh, what the fuck? Right then. I'm pretty happy with that. Don't know how that happened. Banditry is a bit of a problem, but some, you just got to live with it in this campaign. This trying to get rid of it all would just mean you just use up way too many build slots. It's not worth it. Any chance you could get back of it? Yeah, he's out of range. I'm going to need you to chase him. If he wants to go and take Limonum, fine. It'll be his death sentence. Maybe I should have actually sent the other guy over here. But in hindsight, because then I could have made it over there. Unless you can make it there. Nope. But that's okay. Just want to know what was there. Shit, it's my opportunity to sabotage that, but they're not getting over here. Chase him out of here. Okay, next stop, let's check out the Langobardi. So, if we sabotage this enough... Should just be able to waltz straight over here, capture it, and then that'll just be the end of that. We do need an absolute ton of food in this campaign, so we need to get the farms. Like, we'll focus on. I know there's a lot of buildings that need converting. But main thing here is I just need to get rid of these guys as fast as possible. We'll, we'll worry about, we'll get the conversion and stuff done when there's an influx of money. Right now we, we can't afford it. Alright, so we just want to stand here. I doubt they'll declare war on me. But it is possible. And we'll just take him out next turn. Suppose you can come over. Oh, look, we can actually do this right now. Oh, fuck, let's do it right now then. Damage is minimal, and they are out of here. Cool. Next stop will be Frankie, and then we'll move on to them. Three armies might be sufficient to take him out, but of course they're a major faction, so we'll just have to see how that goes.
too many things that need conversion. But the thing is, we still get the economic bonus from it, even if it's not like the full economic bonus. So I'd much rather upgrade our amount of money anyway. Okay, that'll help our... Oh, actually, let's get that going first. Because I don't desperately need money, but it would be good to... Um, Stop this goddamn banditry a little bit. That is a problem. No wealth from any sources. Like, if you build three of these, one in each region, you can negate all banditry, but yeah, that's not really worth it. Plus, I think it consumes food. Yeah, it does, so. I mean, you just don't get enough build slots. I mean, if there were build slots, this banditry thing wouldn't be a problem. It's like why I've always said the 644 system sucks. And I'll, I'll continue to say it. There's no argument anyone can give me to say the 644 system is good. It's not good. It's inferior to the old system. Take it out. I mean, not take it out of this game. I don't expect that to happen. But don't implement it into fu future Total War games, you know? Alright, well, there's nothing else we can do here. It's just being taxed. Ooh, shit balls. Um, I'm going to have to cancel that. Just temporarily, uh, temporary. Just while we do this, yeah, put that in there. It's going to expand this, but I don't have enough money to build the other thing. So another time then. Sabotage him. Don't let them think that it's okay to attack us. Alright, moving on. Ready for orders. How did they get these guys? Ah, they're mercenaries. It doesn't matter because we sent Aurelius over this way, at least I think it was Aurelius, over here to, um, to deal with them. So all they're doing here is basically trying their own death warrant. And you, if you take this settlement, well, the other army, send it over here. And was it really worth holding the Monum for one turn? It's not worth sacrificing an army for a city. Of course, what they do is they raise it to the ground so that it's just it cost me money to fix up. We have fine. Even though that would have made me some money, I need my reliability in order to stop these guys from declaring war on us. Okay, so take that out. Well, I hope I hope this little little venture of yours was worth it for you. Got you killed. Send you up there, because you, you don't need to be at full strength to take this out. We're going to send the other guy down south. Like I said, we had our bases covered here. Good, at least they didn't raise that. Good, that gives us full control of Gaul again. Now. Yeah. I mean, all we need to do here is sabotage. Well, I don't even know if these guys are actually playable. Commander. So, I can't remember. Doesn't matter. Let's just... Trespass on the territory. It might take a little bit of attrition. But as long as we're standing on the road, it won't be that much. Shouldn't need three armies, but... Meh. Mischief. No. Nah. 
We've got a lot of fixing up to do. Now, where was it that we had those slums? It was Trevororum. Got to remember to sort that out next turn. Okay, since we took this back, we can put the put that back on. All right. So, which is better, the this or that? I mean, the end result, 600 or 600. Except that causes banditry. So, yeah, I'll go with... I'll go with that. Okay, let's just go through the regions real quick and see if there's any empty build slots, because obviously slums are a big problem. It just ends up costing me more money in the long run. Moving them around where needed. So yeah, now they're they're training new armies. Okay. So it should be relatively safe to come down here. Okay, I don't have enough dignitaries, so I'm going to recover some of the funds. I'll do it next turn. Could cancel that. That's not crucial right now. No, I'll, do it. I'll just do it next turn. Because the dignitaries actually make me more money than perhaps any other building. They could potentially save me a no thousand per turn. In Rome's name, I no, go away. Are they even in my client state still? Not too much. Sol Invictus Day. Fair enough. 25th of December, I believe it is. Coincidence? Maybe. Alright, so I think this guy here is not standing on the settlement, so... Good. And even though they like me... They are still barbarians, they need to go. Take this settlement for Rome! Ready? Forgive me, but I cannot. Our path is blocked. On the... Victory for Rome! Yeah! Ready for battle. And that gets rid of them. Excellent. Good. So all that's left in mainland Germania... Marcomani. Good. Which I think I'll send you to go and help as well. Ready for battle. Is that all? Because when I try and take out all of their forces in one go. think I would necessarily win, but most of their strength is be coming here because of their navy, I think. Actually, no, back off. We'll use our agent to thin them out a little bit. Is he recruiting? No. And the garrison as well. Okay, 
maybe now give it a shot. Good, now you can actually win. Probably going to get smashed up a little bit. These are just Roman levies, so I can just replace them right here. Sure, it's going to be a Pyrrhic victory, but that's okay. Well, oh, that's a bad Pyrrhic victory. We just need to get a move on it. Get this war over and done with. Ready for orders. At your command. That could be more of a problem than I thought. Are you ready to serve Rome? Alright, I want you to get off this. Ready for battle. <sighs> Damn it. Doesn't quite make it there. Being in force march is not a good idea. At your command. So I'll need to give them some temporary units. Just to protect the settlement against this, because we're trying, uh, kind of rushing through this at the moment. Just need to get it done. I just don't want to lose the general. That would really suck. Got more than enough armies here. We're dedicating four armies to take these guys out. Shouldn't be a problem. Cool. Start making your way back this way. Oh, also, you reattach here, and we're going to need that dignitary. Ever in service to Rome. Ready for orders. Ready for battle. Commander. Okay, that's good. Still a little bit of money left over. Now, there was a province where there was um, empty build slots. Get the growth going first. It doesn't matter too much about banditry. Like, it's bad, but it's not that bad. I just want these regions to grow quicker. That used up the majority of my money. It's not even looking at that stuff. to do for my money. Can't do much more with it. Let's move on. The shield wall is always stronger when brothers stand together. That is why I offer a treaty. No, because I think after I'm done with Hispania, you're going to be next. I want to just completely secure the northern and western frontier and just have one eastern and southern frontier. Because even though they're friendly towards us right now, um... That could very quickly change. And then if all of our armies down here and then they suddenly declare war on us, not a good thing. Okay, they didn't attack us, so these guys here can go. They're being silly and just raiding. As if that really does anything to me. Bitch. Stops them for the most part from moving and obviously weakens them considerably. Alright, I want you to make the attack down here in Sugata. If they want to come here and retake Taraku, that's fine. Now, could you force March down here to help? Okay, good. That way, we're keeping this guy on the move and he can recruit from this region at the same time. Good. That reduced our upkeep cost by 200. That's just with stupid levies. Hit them hard and fast, and we don't need to worry too much about scouting ahead.
I got this guy wasn't able to move. Ready for battle. This doesn't really matter so much. Um, yeah. Aurelian is coming up here. He's going to assist by attacking from the south. Four armies to take out this, this faction here should be more than enough. And then and then Aurelian will come down here to uh, to receive his first doom stack. Well, well to receive his doom stack. He's first and last, hopefully. Yeah, so we need this killing it. And how are we going with all this? So that's down to 17. Our traditionalist bonus is going up, but we still need like four more if we want to keep it under control. I mean, securing loyalty will work. And that being said, it'll only be at like minus four loyalty, which is not a lot. It should be okay. Over here for the time being. How can I serve Rome? Knife in the ribs, <laughs> Take that, you I shit. So, yeah, they're bound to be getting pretty pissed off about that. But we're getting into position, we'll declare war on them soon. I also was very silly of the AI, how they like declare war and then they just don't do anything with it most of the time. Sometimes they do, but most of the time they don't. So these here, they need to be converted to food buildings, but we've got plenty of food at the moment, so does, it's not a top priority right now. What we really need is money, like just tons and tons of money. This region here should try to produce some of the food, it's obviously consuming heaps. That's kind of historically accurate though, Rome was a huge drain on the food supply. That's what he wanted. Get that growth going. Okay, looking good. Moving on. I am sure that you will agree with Roman wisdom. I will once Hispania is dealt with. You just have to deal with it for the time being. Why join the war before I can even do anything about it? I don't like this shit. Alright, so let's have a look here. I mean, it's, look, I don't mind they put it in there. This, this wouldn't ever lose points with me in terms of, of a review. It's just that, ah, I don't want to deal with it. Okay, so... The boy seems unfazed, but blah, 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 blah. Um... Let's talk with the boy. I've, I've already gone through this before, that's what I went through. When I played it through on normal. I'm sure there is some, some good bonuses to have, but you know, if it's a case of guessing, I don't, don't fucking do guessing games with me, okay? I'm not interested in it. Hey legend, pick a number between one and ten. Fuck you, that's my answer. Yeah, I wonder why people never wanted to play with me when I was a kid. Okay, so... Okay, you're getting into position. Ready for orders. March. No trespass on their lands just yet. Cause it, I mean, I could force march them, they might get there a little bit faster. No, wrong one. That's a lot faster. I believe there were some things that I destroyed last time, so let's go through there and try and find where they were, because I can't remember already. Make sure no slums show up. This 
just have that, that urge to be like, oh, upgrade the build slots, but I'm thinking, oh, I may not have enough money to get through it all. Let's just, let's just get through this first. See? I only just had enough money. Coming back up this way, I upgraded stuff that I may not have needed to. This here is important because we left the settlement undefended. If that's successfully sabotaged, it can't do anything. This army here is going to fight like shit now. What do you wish of me? At your command. Ready for orders. Lots of delicious levels up. Give me some anti-corruption. No, not yet. Soon though. We hunger for battle. Yeah, this guy can get anti-corruption. Good, that's really starting to increase our income by reducing Ready corruption. Because we've got so many regions now. The more regions we have, the more it affects. Of course, the more regions we have, the more corruption goes up. We haven't really researched any of the anti-corruption texts yet, though, have we? No, we're not focusing on money just yet. Focus on just getting the things that we need to build the um, to build our doom stack, and then we'll focus on money. Usually, it's the other way around. Usually, I go all money, and I just go through the entire campaign basically with levies. Because usually, by the time a doom stack is ready, I'm done. You know, I don't need a doom stack to win this. I can just. As you can see, you can win this game very easily just spamming levies. Which is part of the problem. You shouldn't really be able to do that, but you can. In fact, it's easier to do it that way. Especially on legendary difficulty. I will do anything for Rome. Like I said, we're, we're actually pretty rapidly heading towards Doomstack, but like I, like I said, I do not sit around on my hands going, I won't do anything until I have a Doomstack. I just don't do it, don't do things that way. And even once I get a Doomstack, I'll be like, fight one or two battles and be like, yeah, it's too easy, and then just auto resolve the rest. That's 30 to four, 10 wealth. From 40 to 60. We can get better. There we go, 0 to 40. 400. Uh, yeah, not 40. Forget anything? What about politics? It's very easy to forget about politics now that we've got it completely under control. As long as these three guys here are never disturbed, we'll never have a civil war. I hope. I still need to get that traditionalist up. This is why we've got to conquer all of Hispania. Those provinces will secure, pro uh, secure politics for us. Where's this? Okay, it's close by, so it doesn't matter, we're gonna win, so... Everything worked out. You don't really need to worry about public order. 
even on legendary difficulty, it's because of the global bonuses that are provided through wine and stuff like that. That's why I haven't even looked at it lately. This could be risky, but fuck it. Victory for Rome! Okay, tell me we can make it there. Hard on the <laughs> Look at this. They, they love to make their redundant buildings everywhere, don't they? No semblance of efficiency. Really put it there to you know have a little bit extra defense because they don't need economic, they don't need food most of the time. And even even with all the food bonuses and money bonuses, they still run out sometimes. Alright, on the approach here, do not be in force march. Actually, you can be in force march if you stay inside the settlement because they can't ambush you there. Okay, we're almost poised to strike. Good, you can hit Podorgus in a single turn. From there. It's alright. Now when we hit this, we'll need to kill this army here, but it's better actually if we assassinate these two guys. Because that sh if you get rid of all their, their uh, family members, or all their generals, their armies dissolve, usually. At least that's how it used to be, I'm not actually certain if that's how it still is. It's the problem with all the patches with Rome too. They just keep changing the rules. Ah, oh, well, you know how you used to just be able to kill all the family members, well, now you can't do that anymore. But then again, it's, it probably still does work. It was always very annoying with Attila. You have to hunt down every last fucking army. You know, there'd just be a pittance of troops and they'd sit down the sea and just raid your territory for hundreds of years, basically. Well, hundreds of turns. The whole game takes place over 55 years. Um... Okay, we've got some money. Let's get rid of this shit here. We don't need it. Ah, also, we don't have artillery sorted out here. So we're going to need to build it somewhere. I'm going to build it here. It, it, obviously the artillery doesn't require the bonuses from here. Neither does the cavalry, but nah, fuck it. Alright. Okay, then we just go through the region to see if there's any empty build slots. that you know whilst it's going on we, we keep leveling up our generals it's making them better oh shit <laughs> okay so this is actually a different faction he could be in big trouble here Regroup and fall back. okay no we're okay this is why you need to have intel Difference. 
they'll have to wait for backup. Anyway, that was Lusitania. So let's get rid of Hispaniot. Okay, so we know that they're down this way. Alright, so at least that's undefended. We start taking out their undefended settlements and eventually we'll corner them somewhere. But while they've got two armies together, we need to be careful. Obviously, he doesn't need to be too careful because they're not in this area. And you've got, I was going to say, you've got a spy protecting you. That's not enough of an army to be able to defeat us anyway. Alright, we should keep sabotaging him. I'm going to send this person back around to finish that off. If we capture this, they're out of settlements, but we can't justify that knowing full well that Lusitania around there. I can hire another spy, can't I? I'm going to need the intel. come under attack, but if it does, so be it. That needs to go as well, but we'll go later. Actually, the heavy Onigo would be would be a better choice than the Ballista, I think. A bit more expensive, but higher range, more damage. Not very accurate. Alright, now we strike. Okay, this should wipe out all three armies here. Well, there's not three armies, um, one of them is garrison. Okay, because they're a major faction, they didn't eliminate them. I also didn't need to bring him in. So let's just see. No, 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 assassination. Chances of success aren't great, but you, we do get a second chance in case you fail. Okay, yeah, make that other attempt, please. Okay, suck balls. Alright. Alright, didn't matter if he was assassinated or just wounded, but it works out in the end. Alright, seems like the champions are better at doing this, so let's see. Boom, and they are out of here. Goodbye, Markamani. Without any means by which to, um, to fight back. That is how you get rid of an enemy at minimal costs. That's what it's all about. And all of this is now secured, relatively. So these three armies will now head towards Britannia to, uh, to fight them. Yeah. Aurelian is going to head back to Rome. Now, it's, the army is not yet ready to be recruited because I haven't quite finished building all the Sol Invictus shit. But yeah, we'll still send him back there. I will do anything for Rome. How can I serve Rome? Okay, good. So who else hasn't moved? So yeah, you start heading over there. We don't declare war until we actually land in Britannia as well. Why make our intentions known before we before it's needed? Okay, so let's construct any empty build slots that there might be. If not, we need to prioritize finishing off. Latium. What my doom stack? Alright, 
cool. Alright, so what do we need to do here? We don't have enough money for this. So maybe just save it till next turn. Good, and the the rival political parties are losing influence. Hmm. Still need more. But then again, a lot of these regions over here don't primarily have... That's off. We could totally jack up the taxes now, can't we? Are there any region? Okay, so this region's going down. Yeah, because we attacked it this turn. Why is this going down? Instability here? Nope. Cultural differences. Okay. Well, if we just upgrade... I wonder... I don't think that actually provides cultural problems. Let me have a look here. It's going downhill. That'll provide a bit of public order in the meantime. Alright, moving on. Actually, it might have been better if I like upgraded one of my wine resources or something like that, but it's alright. Okay, can we knock you off again? Nope. It's alright, we'll get it back. This is note. You just have to sort it out yourself until we're done here. Can't justify another war just right now. So you go with him. So that makes a little bit of money, I suppose, in the meantime. Alright, so Aurelia makes his way back to Italy. But we're still quite some time away before, before it's actually going to be ready. Yeah, quite a little while away. I'm not going to get started until, until this is perfect. We're in no rush. It'll make our Herculaneo Signore just rip through enemy units, any enemy unit, just with absolute ease. They'll cut through even the heaviest infantry as if they were just made of butter. Alright, until we have intel out here, you guys need to stick together. Obviously this is overkill, but it's more a case of I don't know where those fuckers are. If they go and take the sword in the back, who cares? You know? So they wrecked this region, but I don't really care that much. Just fix it up. Didn't I demolish a thing around here? I oh, maybe I already replaced it. Um, he's not going to be able to escape us again. can't quite get to him. So just sabotage this, just for experience. You little bitch. Fucking hell. Okay, well he's not going to be able to get too far. So this is upgrade to max, same with this one. We're ready to go with, in terms of this. Look, once once the cavalry is ready, we can start recruiting that because this is not going to... Actually, no, it will affect them because it, it's not just for infantry, it's for any unit. So yeah, we have to wait. Maybe the artillery will be ready first. Like I said, I want heavy onagers. 
So I think that'll come from a level three building. Or level two, let me have a look. Yeah. Which I think we've got the tech for it. It's alright, bit of patience. Probably won't have the Doom Stack in this episode, just because it's probably going to take another 40 minutes to do it. But next episode, it'll be ready to move out. And boy, oh boy, will it be... It will slaughter. Actually, maybe we should prioritize... Since we increased the tax rate... Global Public Order. I need to sort out that tech, uh, tech next, maybe. Maybe I'll just do some conversions out here. Because this is all secured now. Just remember to come to... Um, Magda Germania, so we can fix it up. Reduce that corruption. Excellent. Extra 500 from that. Moving on. Much blood has been spilt. Rome suggests that we agree terms. To I am right. Best we finish them off now. We're in the area. We've got them by the balls. Let's just finish it off. Gotcha, bitch. Good, and you weren't able to go, so... I got you, bitch. Can't see what's down here, but might be able to justify an attack on that, maybe. Okay, we'll go in groups of th in three. We've seen two of their armies, so let's go with one extra. Until we can actually see what's going on. Then once we've cornered their army, we'll split up. Got a good amount of money, that's good to see. What do I next want to research? So that provides extra wealth from culture. It only takes two turns to recruit. One experience for new spies, but I've already recruited all the spies that I need. However, reducing spy action costs. That'll help save money. Not a lot, though. What about military stuff? See, this is here as well. Once we research all this, it'll make our top units even tougher, but that can be done after the fact. Oh, what's this? Oh, wait, no, no, no. That's that's campaign abilities. These are battle abilities, right? Yeah, I don't, wouldn't worry about a navy right now. Where's the anti-corruption stuff? Out here. Yeah, that's what I need. That way we can upgrade our settlements to level 3 so I can get more global bonuses to public order. Okay, since we're not going to use Aurelian's army anymore, all of these guys here can now be disbanded. Now, I suppose... Oh, yeah, you know that. I suppose we could recruit the, um... The armoured archers, but the thing is, we can... It would actually benefit us for them to have more melee attack as well. I mean, look at that. They're, they've already got more melee attack than what the levies in other armies would have. Look at that, 66. So let's just be patient. There's still... There's still a lot to gain here. 
And once that's done, we need to get it to the next level, which will give us 25 melee attack. And then they'll be ready to start recruiting. Which, like I said before, we don't need a doom stack. We can quite easily just go through this, just spamming levy, spamming Romaria even, which is even more trashy. But I just, I'm just not the kind of person to sit on my hands and do nothing. Except when it comes to housework. Fuck that, that's slave work. Yeah, I'm gonna s I say that, and then I don't apologize for it. And people wait for that apology, and they're like, and then they take it as some means to be offensive. Uh, to be offended by it. Legend, I never want to be married to you. Look, everything I say is in jest, okay? But if I apologize for it, it's not a fucking joke then, is it? <laughs> the mere fact that I need to point that out as well is frustrating. Because it's just like, people really these days can't take a joke. It's, it's not everyone. It's a small minority of people that when they hear something, they can't, they can't understand what humor is because of, because of how far they are on the autism spectrum. Nothing wrong with being that, but they can't understand what a sense of humor is. And that you can't, telling a joke isn't like, hey, um, knock, knock, who's there? And then apologize for whatever the outcome is afterwards. Oh, sorry, 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 it was, it was a joke, by the way. No, you don't apologize after you tell a joke. Just don't take what I say seriously. I don't take what I say seriously. Right. Oh my god, this person offended me. I must write about it in my blog. <laughs> Legend of Total War. He's such a bad man because he still believes in slavery and blah 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 blah. He's a right wing Nazi. He got suspended on Twitch for drawing a swastika, even though it was a fucking joke. His sense of humor is just not acceptable. <laughs> And I think it's all in our best interest if he was just not on the internet anymore. Mm. Signed, yours truly, SJW. Simon Jones Walter Jr. So it says SJWJ. Whatever. said even on the previous one. Let's remember to go back here. It's all right. Cool. Okay, I think everything's done. Any levels up to distribute? Nope. Maybe not. Will you be counted as friends? Or will you walk I forgot to do that in the end turn. Uh, during the turn, so I was just like, thanks for reminding me that I had to cancel my relations with you. Oh, whoops. I meant to click auto resolve. There's no hope here. I'm just gonna quit out of the battle. It doesn't matter if we don't do any damage. Yeah, but then you know, I wanna see you give it a shot. Look, we killed 14. That's like auto resolve would have yielded. I don't even know where that was going on. You meant here, yeah. okay. So this is where we haven't upgraded these regions. Why why do it when it's in a conflict zone? I'm not paying any money for for their own goddamn problems. On this side, though. I'm afraid we 
That's why we're not force marching. It really does not matter. Because I bet they're not expecting this. They have no idea what's coming for them. Where did the other one recover? There. She was wounded over this way. Okay, we know where one of their armies are. Okay. You should just have a quick look over here. Alright, good. Sabotage that army again. Yeah, it should be a two. He's got the Evocati. So, no problem. Stand together. Oh shit, someone over here. Oh well. If they capture it, it's their own funeral. But we're we're almost done in terms of our wars. Gallic Rodden died, I don't even know what when they died. Doesn't matter. Good Red Storm. How long is it gonna take us to build this? Oh, okay, look what else it does. Extra 5% unit replenishment all regions. That's that's a good selling point just on its own. Plus 10 influence per turn for your political party. That won't really mean very much at all, to be honest. Alright, good. So now we're actually spending quite a bit more money on developing up our regions. I'll just wait for the tech for that. Same with that. Just keep it for the time being. I mean, it's making some money. Good, moving on. This is upkeep costs for me. Oh, you're already just about max level. Alright, well then, increase movement range. Totally unrelated note, because I don't really have much to talk about in terms of the game right now. I was watching some videos on YouTube about fat shaming, and I was like, watching all these, you know, hippopotamuses essentially, um, complain that they get fat shamed, and I'm just like, look, you can be whatever body type you want, but you're trying to legislate people or whatever from not judging you. Do you, do you realize what the human race is? We're an incredibly judgmental people, you know, sort of thing. It's like, look, if you want, if you want your waist to have the circumference of the sun, you can go for it. I'm not, you do whatever you want. If you, if you've got the lifestyle that can support it, by all means, you go right ahead. But you know, at the same time, you look fucking ridiculous. You know, that's just a fact. Okay. There are some people that will find you attractive. Most people won't, because beauty is subjective, you know? Some people like fatty, some people like skinny people. Some people like big boobs, some people like small boobs. It's all good, you know? Whichever, whichever floats your boat. If you want to be fat, you go right ahead. But don't expect people not to judge you, because all you're going to do is, if you legislate people not judging you, is that people will just think about judging you in private, and they just won't tell anyone, you know? It's like this whole, you can't say the n-word thing. People think it, okay? If people were going to say it, and then you got people, to, if you got the n-word banned, people are still going to think it. You know? Better just to get it out in the open. Now, 
You really gotta wonder though, is it that people don't want people to be prejudiced against or don't want to be ridiculed? I mean, it's just, it's just part of life, really. I mean, it's not a, it's not like it's a good thing, but you're never gonna get rid of it. Anyway, it's like they're like. <laughs> There's, I heard this fucking phrase, right? Thin privilege. Or was it was it thin privilege? I was just like, oh, for fuck's sake. Oh, you thin privilege, you know? You have, you know, that high life expectancy. You've got so much privilege. I was like... And I was, I was like watching these, these women. Because there was always women going on about it. It's not so much men. Um... In these videos, I don't. Sometimes you just go on YouTube and you just let the recommend bar just take you away. You know, just you just go look. I'm just gonna click on whatever's on the top, and you just take me to what you think I'll enjoy. And it's just like it always takes me to fucking something SJW-ish. Probably just you know off my um, search history. Anyway, what was I trying to say? Oh yeah, and they were like the fat people were always like. Saying, are you happy being thin? So, so all these people that was like, to like, um, that used to be like beach balls and then they, uh, they lost the weight and saying how much happier they were. And then when the questions were reversed, like, you don't have the right to judge me. It's just like, they were just asking you a question, a question that you just asked them. And it's like, it's amazing. Like you can literally, you can literally physically see the insecurity like in them. It's like a tangible force around them as if it's like their aura. It's like I said, like, it's fine. Like, if someone wants to be fat, if that's what they, if that's what they prefer to be, that's fine. But like, it's you know, it's not healthy. I don't know why I bring that. Probably because there's just not much to talk about with this. Legend, I disagree with you. I'm 150 kilos and I'm quite healthy, right? I'm not going to judge, I don't care. I mean, you look ridiculous, but I don't care. Treading softly. Did you know, find it offensive that you think that I look ridiculous, it's even though I, I tuck my right. belly into my pants? Yes. I think I think the best example of somebody who owns their weight is Ethan from H3H3. Look, mate, if you're thick, just own it. It's funny. It's funny, there's nothing wrong with it. It's only, it's only funny because you're so insecure. This is the thing about anyone. If you let people know what you're insecure about, they're not going to be like, oh, I won't pay you out because you're insecure about your ass size or about, you know, your thunder thighs or the fact that you've got small chest or a big nose or anything like that. If you make it known that you're insecure about something, people are going to fucking, you know, try to annoy you about it. For me personally, I've made it well known that I'm insecure about my privacy. I don't particularly want fucking people adding me on Facebook. And so what do people do? They fucking annoy me about that. I'm aware of that. You know? But you know, that's... At the same time, you tell people you just don't want them to try and track you down. Like, just leave me the fuck alone. And... Ooh, you're insecure about it. It's like, yes. Yes, I am. Whatever. Well, now that we know that, then maybe we don't even need to go hunting these armies now. We'll just take their settlements and then they're gone. The I think it was it Philip DeFranco who said it best or first. I don't fucking know. Like if if you if, like, this is the internet. It's full of cruel people. Like. People are allowed to show their true colors on the internet because you can get away with it. And people in general are cruel, malicious pricks. There's nothing wrong with that. That's just human nature. So don't don't give them the opportunity. If you if you're like a beach ball and you let people know you're insecure about it, they're gonna they're gonna call you a beach ball. But if you're a beach ball and you make fun of it, like Rebel Wilson for for example, like she's a giant balloon, but she owns it, and so she's funny.
It's not the fact that you're fat that people pay you out, it's because you're insecure. And if it's one thing the human race loves to do, is find someone who's insecure and make them cry. Because it's funny. It's funny. It is. You're a legend. You're a bully. If you think what you, making other people cry is funny. I have four siblings. And let me tell you something. Making other people cry for your own enjoyment is hilarious. It is an objective fact. Making other people cry for your own enjoyment is funny. Nothing makes you feel warm and fuzzy inside than knowing that you made someone cry that day. So much so that some people even like to trick themselves into thinking they made someone cry. Like for example, whenever I would play Ark Survival Evolve, and um, this is this is a long time ago, I was in you know a semi toxic tribe, and you know we would fight someone, and then they would whinge a little bit in in, in chat after we fought them, and then I would have tribes members say. Oh, did you see how we made them cry? I'm just like, they didn't cry. They were just, they were just obviously explaining their displeasure of getting their bases wiped out. They weren't crying. I don't think. So what do you do? Just don't fucking cry. Like if you, here's, here's a good, some good advice for you if you're a man. Don't ever cry. Never, just never do it. There, like, there's like one, one or two cases in which it's like acceptable to cry. Like, obviously, if like a family member dies or something really traumatic, okay, all right, you got, you got to pass on that. But like, if you just don't get what you want and you cry about it, you, you lose your man card. I had a friend in high school, and he used to just cry whenever he didn't get what he wanted. I was just like, you're a spoiled brat. Of course, we never said it to his face, but we joke about it behind his back. He'd be like, did you see? He's fucking crying, like a little baby. Ooh, I didn't get what I want. Ooh, the girl that I like doesn't like me back. <laughs> Set aside. I know I'm a great person, you aren't I? Worthy of benefit. I am sure that you will agree with Roman wisdom and see the Honestly, them dying I don't even care. It saves me the have uh, the trouble of having to kill them. Just hold out a little while longer though, and I'll and I'll, I'll be there. Not to help you, but just to take them out. I don't even care which trade agreement dissolved. We've almost won here. Maybe I should concentrate a little bit more on this. It doesn't require that much concentration. I'm basically running in like 20% brain power here. Yeah, this is, this is the turn they get wiped out. Because we should be able to take Gades and whatever the hell it's called. It's Gades, right? Yeah. Boom, you're out of here. This was their last settlement. Good. Alright, next stop. Mor what are they called? Mori. Alright, now let's have a look at the politics side of things. Oh, right on zero there. We've got it exactly balanced. We can't do shit without it tipping over. Same with these guys here. It's all thanks to traditionalists, but man, it's right on. Okay, so that's actually helping us with the trade agreements, but it doesn't matter. Traditionalists would be better. I mean, anyone who's taken umbrage to things that I've said, just, look, understand this. There are certain people that, look, you can live your life however you want. If you want to live your life, um, sugar, like, with cushions, you know, cushioning everything, and everything must be soft and weak and, you know, filled with puppies and rainbows, that's fine. That's your choice if you want to delude yourself and think that life is, life is a bowl of fucking rainbow farts. You go right ahead. Or... You can do yourself a favor and realize that life is fucking hard, and maybe you shouldn't be a wuss about the things that actually don't matter. Alright, 
Big words from the guy who just plays video games for a living. Yeah. But then again, that would be an argument from authority, which is a logical fallacy. It's more like a, a argument against authority. It's just like, oh, just because of what I do, the truth is the truth, regardless of who says it, you know? That's why I've often said, you know, people, people often, you know, say bricklayers and plumbers or whatever, oh yeah, when you're not very smart because you're not book smart or anything. Like, if, if, they, if, a, if a plumber or a, or a policeman or a bricklayer or a builder or whatever, if they're, if they're excellent at what they do, then they're a genius. It doesn't make them any less intelligent. They're just intelligent is just not fathomable by you, that's all. I am Rome's champion. How can I be of assistance? You should always live your life with this there's many golden rules you should live by, but one of them is if you judge a fish on its ability to climb a tree, it will always believe that it is a fool. On the road again. Why would you judge a fish? This is, it's like, I'm having an argument with myself, knowing full well that there would be one or two people in the comments who would actually reply like this. And I know full well that they're just fucking trolls. Why do I respond to them? I don't know. make a whole lot of money from mining, but there you go. How's all this coming along? Good. left of the episode and it's still a little while away before we get the doom stack. Shouldn't take as long to actually recruit it. Alright, well their troops are nowhere near here. They could be on the borders here as well, which we have no defenses. Losing Carthage would suck, but it's not the end of the world. It would be really bad if we had to chase them all across here. this turn, but next turn, we land at Kamaludanon. So if we have a look at them, how they, they don't like us anymore. Trade agreement, sure they still accept it, but they don't like us. Let's have a look at other people over here. So the German Speak Confederation. Well. You know, oh, we've got a non-aggression pact with them, so that's fine, I guess. In time, two so they hate us, and they're Roman. Why do they hate us? Because of expansionism. No, oh, whatever. Okay, Armenia, we got a trade agreement with them. Sassanids can't trade. Numidia can trade with them. Speak your speech. I think I'll just cancel. Speak. Quickly, but do not How much money do I make from them being client states? Doesn't say. I wish I'd make that a little bit Welcome, more clear. I, suppose. Anyway, I don't, no. don't need them anymore. 
So the Nassimones, we are getting trade from them, but I want to get rid of them eventually as well. Alright, what tech did... Oh yeah, so we can now do the level 3 stuff. Where did I get that from? From here. It's for level 4. This provides sanitation all regions, which is not really crucial. As long as we've got lead, 2 lead should, be, uh, should suffice for now. This will give us a thousand extra wealth per turn if we control the city of Rome. It's not bad, but we don't really need it right now. See, that 15% corruption would actually provide us with a lot more. We can build Aurelian walls in every province. It's all just about that reduced banditry. Okay, if we develop enough of our settlements, like these, because I provide sanitation and, and um, public order, then we can justify upping the taxes again. Let me just see here. So it's on minus 12, we go up anymore. So we need 8 of them. If we want to make this jump. That's about four so far. It's good. The more we make every turn, the more we can reinvest in our income should start increasing exponentially. Okay, there's another one. Alright, I think we can justify jumping the taxes up. So, any regions going downhill? Nope. None. Even though those buildings haven't been constructed yet. Oh shit, I need this, because we need to get that going. Alright, well... That can wait, since it doesn't look like we're desperate for it. You start making your way down here because this... Oh damn, we need even more money. Yeah, that'll be ready soon. Five turns. That'll be ready before this is. Because we've still got the, the Grand Temple of Sol Invictus, whatever it's called. Yeah, I just took a guess on that too. Okay, ready to go. Alright, let's start. What? I got treaties with them. What the fuck is this? Oh god damn it. Be welcome. The market Didn't realize I, I had trade with them. Probably should have checked. Not a big deal, we'll just wait a couple of turns. I don't want to go too unreliable or else everyone's just gonna go ham all over me. And that'll give us some time to get these guys organized. Actually, even more so, what we can do is just trespass on their territory. Who gives a shit? And we'll just get into position. You got a problem, Mori? Suck my dick. Come and declare war on me, bitch, if you got a problem. This is no time for timidity. No, it's no time to help you out either, because I don't care about you. If you want to take on the Sassanids, that's your own problem. 
probably the most likely is Assassin is declared one then, but that's okay. So there we have, it takes 12 turns as well, that sucks. That's an entire year to build that. Oh well. I want that extra melee attack. It maybe maybe we can let that one slide. It's only five percent. Let these ones finish first. I want to see if I can upgrade them to level five as well. I don't think I can, but I just want to check. Alright, so we want to go looking for their armies. And take out their armies. If we're going to be trespassing on their territory, we need to be in groups of two, for safety. So basically, when we declare war on them, actually, it might be a good idea if we if we move all the way to here, so that we can hit these two settlements here quickly, so they don't take Carthage, because otherwise they'll convert to their stupid desert culture. Alright. I don't think it's been 10 turns since I cancelled the trade agreement. But let's have a look here. Do not attempt to sweeten truth with Yeah, no, we're good. Oh, we lost a little bit of reliability. It didn't warn us about it, but that's okay. Good, now we use this as a base of operation to start hitting everything. Okay, I really want to hit this, but I also need to see what's up here. So maybe if you could go and have a little look. Okay, now that's not so bad. any money in any of this right now. Let's just let's just conquer it first, including Ireland. Yeah, let's increase replenishment. Okay, so we're at an hour and a half, but I'm going to make this an hour and 45 minutes just because I really want to get that doom stack ready. It's not going to be ready in an additional 15 minutes. It's just, I'd like to put the, the doom stack to work next episode. I mean, we didn't even have a single manually resolved battle in this. I mean, apart from that one that didn't really count because like, that was a mistake. I just don't think any of the battles would have been fun either. Like, I just stacked the odds in my favor by too much. I mean, we rolled right over them with absolute ease. Funny thing is, by this time here, historically, Aurelian had already secured the Roman Empire and was actually dead. Oh, no, 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 this is winter, this is January 2015. That's 2015. 275. So he's actually got to the end of the year. But he can, in this, he can live on. That is kind of ridiculous how many generals and, uh, sorry, how many um, emperors were killed by their own soldiers. It's kind of no wonder the armies were 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 weakened because they became like a political force just on their own right. But at the same time, they just weren't as effective at you know annihilating the enemy anymore. I don't think. Okay, I think there might be some regions with empty build slots. No, okay, good. Best spirits. Sorry, I don't care. 
I actually don't really like that dilemma very much. Okay, where did all of you go? There you are. It's not so much about damaging the army, but more about stopping them from moving. That's the most important thing. too far. Maybe better off come down here and assassinate this agent here. I will end them. Right, you two should be safe to come up here. There could be an army up that way, but if you guys go together, we you'll be fine. Ready for On the move. Like I said, an army up this way, but they'll be fine. These two armies here won't be able to move very far, and even if there's another army here, I mean, we've got two full stacks and defensive fortifications. I mean, they are damaged, but we, we have the defensive fortifications here. Plus, these are veteran trashy armies, so extra replenishment, extra armor would probably help. Yeah, if we can get a good strike on an army like that, that would be a good opportunity to declare war. Actually, I think that just made it redundant there. Doesn't matter. Okay, well, at least a little bit of favour there. Let's look for empty build slots first. Because we really don't want slums to occur. Yeah, don't don't develop that stuff yet. Okay, we, we should be alright to uh, develop up. Lusitania, so this shit here can go away. Don't need that. It's gonna be converted, that can be upgraded, that's gonna be taken in there. Okay, cool. And then, see that used up nearly all my money just doing that. And that's not gonna provide a huge economic boost. Okay, get rid of this. Pretty much all my cash. I might be able to build something here for lucky. We should build. Let's get no get the growth going. Need this. Oh, I can actually grow it again, but out of money. Good, that's providing a load of cash. So we want to see. It is time to no. talk. <laughs> if I would want a client state, you this game has proven time and time again that client states are worthless. All they do is drag you into conflicts, and they don't pay you any money, and they don't back you up in war. And if they do back you up in war, they only back you up because it's easy. And just take the territories that you want to take. Client states are bad. So this 
person here got his divisions poisoned, so he's not moving very far, but that's okay. Sabotage their largest armies, of course. Now, if this guy here is recruiting a new f new army, it might actually be in our best interest to assassinate him. Hang on. Where, where's our other guy? He can't quite make it. You take out this agent then. If you assassinate him, that prevents them from recruiting. Better make another attempt. Good. No recruitment for them. Ready for battle. Right. Can you take this stuff off? Nope. Let me just check. Nope. Disengage! Now, in case anyone's wondering, why doesn't he upgrade his units? Because it doesn't really matter that much with them. Because they're all just going to get disbanded in the long run anyway. Okay, hang on. So, come on over here again. Can't find any of their armies. They've smashed Numidia. Numidia's gone. Good, because I don't want them anyway. If I declare war on these guys right now, then I'll be considered unreliable. So we've got to wait a little while longer. You guys try and get to this area here, just to prevent them from taking Carthage. Uh, sabotaging him is not crucial right now. Oh, banditry. Okay, five more minutes and we'll end the episode. So, I could have brought you up here. Um, might be a little bit late, but there you go. Doesn't it? Not needed there. Yeah, you said they would keep an eye on it. Cool. Back to construction. How am I going with politics? Good. It's, it's under control. There's no risk of of um of uh, what's it called? Civil war. Already, that's used up so much of my money. I think there was a region that I pretty much demolished. So I'll have empty build slots. I think it's in Iberia, but I can't remember. Yeah, there it is. There was two provinces that I demolished. can wait. Got plenty of food, but with all the construction that's going on, we're probably going to be burning through food soon. So they probably think we're just 
traversing over to get to Africa. To uh, yeah. But nope, we're just getting into position so we can basically squash them from all sides. Province contested. Ah, oh, right, because they're not okay. Well, whatever. Okay. Yeah, keep all these guys sabotaged out here. Fucking prick. Alright, we need him wounded. How can I serve? life is mine. Okay, all of these armies are in real terrible shape. So I'm gonna put you here. And you here because he can't move very far. And you move down all the way to here. Here. Hang on. There, maybe. No, move you. Yeah, move you to this bridge here. And we'll both hit there. Which means you'll have to protect Stanwick in the meantime, which should be fine. So you were actually doing a good job coming through over here. Get rid of all their agents. I'm not ready to declare war on them just yet. And how are we going over here? I haven't checked on this yet. One more turn, then we can start recruiting our heavy onagers. Oh, look at this. We can actually build them all to level 5. I did not know that. You can, I thought you could only build one of them. That means you can get like 20% extra replenishment globally from all this. We're gonna have to wait until all that's done, because that's an, that's an additional twenty percent. I mean, we can recruit the onagers now, but there's no point. They're just gonna sit there for ages. All right, I gotta I gotta collect some funds from somewhere. Preferably on stuff that we've only just started to build. That's not crucial. Okay, there we go. Damn. That will mean a total of plus 100% melee attack on a unit that already had ridiculous melee attack. But of course, you know, we have to wait a little while. But, you know, the wars are, are under control. We're in no rush for this. No, I just want this area cleared out, I want client states, because then they'll still, still hate us. Ah, there's their army. Did you get sabotage? Nope. Okay. We only blocked because of this guy here. At your command. Make haste, men. To victory! Make haste, men! At your service. Mischief and we hunger for the attack. This guy and he can't reinforce, but the garrison will come out. Easy victory. And then 
easy victory in here, isn't it? This is the, uh, the fleet garrison. Easy victory. At your command. My skills are yours. All mortals die. Good. I have seen. And they're down to their last region. Okay, so what if we just sabotage you? I don't think it's gonna work. I was ready for battle. Gonna try and bypass the army, but he's blocking the pass. We'll have to get the other reinforcements up there. That's okay. There's no rush. Okay, so we're we're at an hour and a half. So let's see. I'm oh, not an hour and a half. Hour and forty-five minutes. What what should we do? Should we end it here, or should we can we hit this? Not yet. Next turn. You guys get into position over here. Because it's more important that we take out their armies first. We take out their armies. Reduces their ability to fight back. And the best kind of enemy is one that can't fight back. That's why if you're if you're like a kid at school and someone's bullying you, fight back. Don't listen to those teachers and don't be like, you know, that if they tell you don't fight back, no, fight back. Okay, even if you get into trouble, okay, you get suspended or whatever, fight back. Okay, because getting suspended or expelled doesn't done mean shit. Okay, if you're like, if you want to, you know, get into university or whatever, you'll find a way. Fight, always fight back against bullies. Okay, that's why they pick on you, because they don't think you'll fight back. Even if you lose, fight back. They won't stop until you, until, until you fight back. Um, let's see here. Let's do some construction, then we move on to the next turn. So just checking Latium again. Nothing else we need to do, but in 11 turns, the true doom stack. Even better doom stack than I had originally thought as well. So that doesn't provide any additional um, stuff. Any like melee attack for the US, but still. Makes it very, very defensible. And we can build the Aurelian walls in multiple settlements. They may patch that out. I think... I, I just don't see how they're... That's going to keep that way. Even though at this point here, the game is out. This is no longer an early access for you, for you guys. No Aurelian walls there. We're on the highest tax now, aren't we? Yeah. That's it. Reducing corruption is now just pouring cash in. Your people are fucked. Alright, with that, we'll end the episode there. So, situation is looking wonderful. We have just absolutely crushed our enemies. I mean, we haven't yet fully recovered the Roman Empire, but we've expanded it in areas where they never owned, and soon we'll own all of Britannia. Anyway, that's the end of this episode, so like, subscribe, part 5 is next, and don't forget to visit me on Facebook. See you next time, fuckers.